Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas, and today is my long-term review of the PSE Evo XF33 hunting bow. I actually didn't get a chance to shoot a PSE last year when I was doing my shootout, uh, so I was very excited when they sent one to me this year for testing, um, and it comes with a host of new changes. But before I get to that, let's look at specs. Uh, this bow has an axle axle length of 33 inches, a brace height of six and three quarter inches, and a rated speed of 340 feet per second. So among the new changes for this year is the guard lock system, which allows the cable rod to, to kind of rotate a little bit left to right without affecting accuracy of the shot. Um, there's the new limb pockets, which are 15% lighter and offer a little more stability according to PSE. Uh, also new are the bearings in the cams. Uh, PSE offers both the E2 and the S2 cams on this bow. I've got the S2, which are the faster of the bunch. Um, and so the, the, the bearings in there are brand new. The, the draw stops are a little bit wider. Uh, and Oh, and there's also a new um, integrate rest mount. I don't have a, an integrate rest for this bow. I've just got a standard rest on there using the burger hole like any normal bow would have. But if you want to move to the integrate system, which is really fantastic if you're looking for consistency and just an absolutely kind of like a firm rest mounting surface where you're not going to kind of rotate the rest when you're cranking down on the, on the tightness of it, the integrate is a great option to go with. Now it's time for the actual review, and I always like to start with draw cycle. Uh, and here the PSC Evo XF33, it's kind of like middle of the pack. Um, both, all the bows I tested this year were, were very comparable as far as rated speed goes, and the draw cycles are all pretty comfortable to shoot. There's no outrageously fast bows, and there's no outrageously bad draw cycles. So the PSC, I think, finished fourth for me this year, uh, but I'm, I would imagine if I moved to the softer cam, the E2 cam, that would have made a giant difference in, in how this ranked. But again, your, your mileage is going to vary. You might not be as bothered by it. I just found the draw cycle to be a bit stiff, but it's a 340 IBO bow, so that's going to happen sometimes. Uh, once you get to the, to the end of the draw, this bow does quite well. Um, I, I like the draw stops a lot. They're, they offer, again, a little bit of give going into the back wall, which is something I prefer. It helps me pull through the shot a little bit better than like a, a, a super stiff kind of limb stop perhaps. Um, and I like that the draw stops are adjustable. So there's 80, 85 and 90% let off on, on this particular setup. You can get a lower let off if that's what you're looking for. But I'm really happy shooting this bow at 80. Feels great to me. Uh, it's not too aggressive on full draw. It holds really well. And it keeps me kind of on target as well as I like to be. And the bow shoots quite well for me as well. It's a, you know, I like a, I like a longer bow. This is 33 inches. And it helps me kind of shoot as accurately as, as accurately as I'm capable of shooting, and uh, the PSC does a really good job of that. Um, after the shot, uh, as far as vibration and noise go, I'm going to put the PSC right in the middle of the pack with all the bows I shot this year. It's none of them are bad. It's not. I don't feel anything like I've shot some bows where you get that real bad handshake or whatever afterwards. This bow has got a tiny little bit, which is almost every other bow has, so no real problems there. Overall, it's a it's a it's a fun shooting experience. What would a bow test be without talking about speed? And I had this bow set up with 70 pounds of draw weight and 30 and 1 8 inches of draw length. It actually took me a little work to get this thing up to 70 pounds uh, from the factory. It kind of came in around, I can't, I can't remember, 66, 67 pounds, I think. And so I just had to add a bunch of twists to the cables uh, to get that up to snuff where I wanted that to be. Uh, how I only did that really though for the speed test. Uh, if I'm shooting this bow myself, I actually like to hunt with a bow at around 65 pounds, so I probably would have left this as is, kept the limbs maxed out, and been good to go. But just to get this up for the, for the, you know, to get this as close to those IBO rated kind of settings you want for your speed, that's what I had to do. Regardless, I shot a gold tip uh, platinum pierce that weighed 350 grains, an average of 328 feet a second, which is plenty fast out of this bow. I shot a heavier gold tip uh, airstrike arrow that weighs 477 grains, uh, 286 feet per second. So that finished second overall in my testing. It's plenty quick for anything you want to do with it. Uh, but and again, if you want to move to the E2 cam, you're going to lose a little bit of speed, but you're going to get a whole lot more comfort. When it comes to fit and finish, the uh, Evo XF33 has holds its own against any other bow in this uh, in this category, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I've come to expect that from PSC. They're a first-rate manufacturer, and they're going to make great-looking products that hold up over time. Um, the riser on this bow has a bit of a textured finish, and I've found historically that those textured finishes can uh, can show wear marks fairly easily. Like I like holding them, but they can show wear down, they can get worn out, and maybe show some some I don't know some damage a little easier than non-textured bows. But that is not proving to be the case with this bow at all. I've got I've I've gone over this thing with a with a microscope looking for imperfections or anything that have any marks from me banging it around and it's showing nothing like that at all so it is as good as any bow as far as fit and finish goes for me um, as for price uh, this bow retails for $1,300 which is on the high end for an aluminum bow most of the flagship aluminums are coming in at around $1,100 or so uh, and so this one at $1,300 bucks is a, it's, that's going to be a bit of a knock against it uh, but again PSC has an army of other hunting bows to choose from if you want something 
a little bit less expensive and there's you know they have bows of different axle to axle lengths and different speeds and different cams and different let off options for high speed to low speed so there's there's a lot of value in the PSE lineup. You just have to find the one that fits you best. And you know, overall, if you're looking for just a fantastic all-around bow, I mean, this would be a great bow if you wanted to be a, a, something for hunting and for 3D or target. It has, it ticks all those boxes for me. So if that does the same for you, visit your local PSE dealer and take one for a ride.